Billy Marcana Bistro Girl. I'm your host, Roberto Alvarez Cayoso, serving you the best. Serving you the best in all that is Americana music and Americana news. I'm coming to you right here, someplace unknown, but at the same time, I'm here to bring some good news. Ever since the United States has been filled with such bad news, lockdowns, uh, social distancing, nobody seeing their families, nobody going to concerts, you can't do this, you can't do that, but other people can do this and can do that, and other ways of being uh, prohibited. There has been also murders, high crime in many areas, vandalisms, destruction. Yet, there has been one piece of good news that has been overlooked. Even the Christian news networks, to some extent, have ignored this because they were concentrating on the, on the bad instead of the good. Recently, there has been a revival. Many, people, many Christians said, oh, we need a revival, we need a revival, we need a revival. Yet, there is a revival under their nose and they don't even know it. They don't know it. And it's on the form of one great preacher. Thank you, Adelino Cesar. Gracias, Adelino Cesar. Adelino, si quiere te invito, quiere, quiere que te invito a estar a la entrevista. Si no, hablamos después. Sean Freud, or Sean Foyt, has been doing a revival. A revival that has been not seen in a long time. This is a person who really knows what he is doing with the revival. And in this revival, in this revival, he has gone through all of the West Coast, through all of the West Coast, California, Oregon, Washington. The, those are the hot states that have been having the biggest prohibitions. And these are the hot states that have been having not only the prohibitions, but also been having the high crime rates, the drugs, the alcohol, and even, and even the um, and even the violence and the terrorism. Okay, we have to call we have to call a spade a spade. And it is in this that he has been acting in Seattle, Washington, in other cities of Washington, in Portland, in other cities of Port of Oregon, and in other cities of in California. He has done baptism in lakes, baptism in pools, baptism. Well, he, I don't I don't think he did in pools yet. And I, but I do know that he did some baptisms in lakes, and he has done some in the beaches, and in the rivers. People have been baptized and have, have, have converted. Even those who have done him wrong, or wished him wrong, they have been, Hey, Mr. Salty Sam, welcome. We're just talking about a revival by Sean Foyt, and the fact that most Christian churches and others have not even taken into account this revival. He, this this is this Sean Foyt is a, is a genius. He was really rec he was recently interviewed by Mirka De Llanos in Instagram Live, and um, the guy he knows his stuff. He's doing everything. He's reviving. He's doing what could ever what, what could not be imagined. What could not be imagined that he's doing. He is doing what I do both says Dr. Rob. I, I, Dr. Rob, I, I heal the souls through comedy. Sean Foyt has been healing souls with these, with these conversions, this revival. He has given people hope, and many people with that hope have been glorifying themselves with God. And in addition to glorifying themselves with God, and hoping that God returns the favor of blessing America, many people have been converting. And they've been throwing away all the ideologies of hatred in the trash can and down the toilet. And not only does he want to limit himself, he doesn't want to limit himself to the West Coast. He's going all over. He's going to go over the Midwest, Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Minnesota is in an easy state, especially Minneapolis. He wants to go to those states. Wisconsin, Michigan. Michigan isn't even easier either. Ohio. He wants to go to the Northeast, Pennsylvania, New York. New York isn't easy. 
many people are leaving New York and you have a high crime rate and you have a, a mayor of New York City who is a tyrant and a governor of New York who is another tyrant doing prohibitions and then high crime, people leaving and he wants to do revivals and each one bring Christ to the whole America maybe this is what we need and he, had, he has this message of love this is, this, is like, this is like a Woodstock for Christians because he has the long hair the mustache, the beard, and everybody else are in their jeans, their sheet, their shirts, and they're being baptized in swimming in uh, in lakes, rivers. Who knows if he's doing the baptism in swimming pools? There's nothing wrong, just as long as you're getting saved. I myself got baptized in a lake in these types of baptisms, and you come out with true liberation. True liberation, you come out with. What else could you say? Nothing. And this guy really knows what he's doing. He's getting out of, he's, he, he's even hoping to go down south to South Carolina, Georgia, and even come down to Florida, and eventually to Orlando, Miami. Could you imagine if all the 50 states were to see Sean Foyt and were to convert? What a difference, what a difference it could make in our glorious country. Could you imagine it? Just imagine it for once. All of that and much more. No, this is this is this is a really big thing. I hope one day, my biggest dream is to hope to one day to see and meet Sean Foyt and interview him concerning this revival, concerning what he is doing. In fact, California prohibited him from doing services in the beach, saying you could do you can't do services in the beach, but you can at least go to Walmart. That's what I had understood, but that's also what I read in other magazines. And even, even in videos, you could go to Walmart. And he did a church service in Walmart with people preaching, singing. But this, is the, this is, cannot be limited to him. Everybody who's in this has to spread the, the, the good news and do almost the same thing that he is doing but using their different mindset and using their realities. Because people want to talk about Christ and talk about God, they can't just use the reality of one preacher. They have to use their realities. But they have to make it really, they have to make it really easy for the people. In a way that people can connect to. In other words, the message has to jive. I wish him luck and I hope one day to see him and meet him. It will be an honor and a pleasure. He isn't the only one who's trying to bring the good news to America. Pamela Mary, and I'm dedicating this video to her. I'm dedicating this video to her. And in dedicating this video to her, she has a, a song called Ready to Fly which deals with the same thing about accepting Christ and being ready to fly free from the things of the world free from the things of the world and her song ready to fly has been gaining traction gaining a lot of views a lot of admirers everything that you could ever imagine is there and she even has Wednesday services in her in her in her um, in her blogs and in her social media. I highly recommend her, her. I I highly recommend her Wednesday services and her music because this is really really growing great. That's all I could say about Pamela Mary. Sugar Cane Jane with ruffled feathers. They're also making traction in doing the real Americana music. Many people have been saying that Pamela Mary and Sugar Cane Jane have not done, have not done real Americana music. I heard Pamela Mary's music and I heard Sugar Cane Jane's music, especially parts of Ruffled Feathers. They are as Americana as you could get. Maybe they don't have the same ideas as 
mainstream Americana or conventional Americana. But Americana music is country, hard country, and hard rock. In other words, the true rock and the true country, regardless of the political affiliation, the race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, whatever. It is true country, true rock, regardless of who records it, because it comes from the heart. And I want you, I want you to buy Pamela Mary's Ready to Fly, and I also want you to buy Sugar Cane James Ruffle Feathers. And now that we're in the Americana beat, I want to talk about a great, great singer. Her name is Caitlin Cannon. This is a, this is a singer who has really crossed a lot of thresholds in Americana music. Especially with her new album, Trash Cannon, which deals with the realities of America that others don't want to face. And then she doesn't even have to use politics. It is everyday people facing everyday life problems and situations. And in the end, hoping to help those who have been victims of inhumanities. I recommend, I recommend that you buy Trash Cannon from Caitlin Cannon. You'll be hearing a great, great, great singer with some great Americana music, with some great realities that we all need, now and forever. And last but not least, there's another one that I love, uh, Satcha Lee, she's, uh, she recorded a video called Forever Thing, in which she recommends that one has to live life to the fullest. After all, we have, three, we have 365 days in a year, and each day is a gift to us from God. And if you don't believe in God, just say that it is a gift from, an, from, our, from our Creator, as like, like as written in the Declaration of Independence. That gift, we could either use it, lose it, or screw it. But in the end, we have to justify what we did. And it is hoped that when you listen to Sacha Lee, when you listen to Sacha Lee, live life to the fullest. Take the risks that are necessary. Do what is necessary. Do unto others what others want, what you want others to do unto you. Be nice. Be gentle. Be helpful. Be courteous. Be kind. We need all of that. I also want to challenge everybody. To be love, like in the song by Laura Marie. Laura Marie saying, be love. Let her be love. Let us be love, like, like Laura Marie once said. Because if not, we're not going to be having an America anymore. So let's go ahead and do it. And I also want to do a challenge. No, I'm not going to be doing the ice bucket challenge. Nor am I going to be doing the... The quarantine shower challenge, which I've been doing, I've been challenging people to shower, the quarantine showers, and uh, raising money for many organizations. And many people have accepted it, but other people have not accepted neither the ice bucket challenge, except for donating the money, except for two or three that did it, and others didn't accept the shower, uh, quarantine shower, or ducha cuarentena, except for like five or six or seven people that accepted it and then donated. I'm challenging people to donate. Not, not using the shower quarantine or using the ice bucket challenge. I'm challenging people to be love like, like with Laura Marie. I'm challenging people to also donate to the Health Association, Health Alliance of Austin Musicians. The Health Alliance of Austin Musicians is a group that helps Austin musicians in their need to get health care and make it affordable so they can get the treatment that they deserve. Because many of the artists in Austin and other areas of the country that are independent, they don't have that opportunity. And they need that opportunity. And boy, do they need it. And everyone needs it. Even everyone. Boys, girls, women, everybody needs it. They need the opportunity to get treated. Thanks, Nana. Thanks for visiting the Americana Bistro Grill. Gracias, Nana. One day, Nena, we're going to be doing an interview. And uh, right, uh, I hope one day you... Right now, we're inviting to you to an interview in the future. 
in Spanish and in English, but that will be later. I want people to donate to the Health Alliance of Austin Musicians, which has helped many Austin Musicians be able to get the medical care that they need at the, at the reasonable price and really get it as they deserve. I'm also challenging people to donate to the Nebraska Farm Bureau. Our farmers in the Midwest, especially in Nebraska, have been suffering, have been suffering from droughts, have been suffering from lack of being able to sell their products because of competition from other areas. And our farmers are suffering for this. I'm getting my, my wheat, my puffed wheat, and my oats for the oatmeal, I get it directly from Nebraska. And these are people that need our help. These are the people that our country depends on. Many people in the city say, oh no, the country is dependent on us, we, uh, uh, but we don't need the country. Well, I have something to tell you, city people. You could say that you don't depend on the country, but if you depend on, on, on the imports, and one day you lose the imports because of some problems, you're screwed. But with Nebraska and other areas that produce foods, like South Dakota, Iowa, Wyoming, Idaho, you can't go wrong. But we have to treat our, con our, our country people with dignity and donate to them. So let's donate to the Nebraska Farm Bureau and the Health Alliance of Austin Musicians. Also, I want you to donate to also the, Rock, the Rocky Mountain artists that really need the help, especially people like Caitlin Cannon, Megan Bird. You name it, they need the donations. And also, there's a donation that I want to challenge people to donate. Uh, I don't remember the, I don't remember it offhand. I think it's for the um, the uh, those who have been unjustly incarcerated. I learned about this from Caitlin Cannon. And um, there have been people, there are people who deserve to be in prison, but there have been people who have been guilty of crimes that they have not been, that they have not committed, and they have suffered unjustly being in jail. This, this has got to stop. So please, accept such challenges. The rest is the rest. Before leaving, I want to, I want to thank Nena Kerr. Thank you for coming to the Americana Bistro Grill. I want to uh, thank Salty Sam for coming too. And I also want to thank Adelino Cesar for coming. And please, come on and come out to the Americana Bistro Grill. Without much, peace in, peace out, and peace everywhere. And may God bless. Thank you.